this video is a continuation of our day of fishing on April 10th, 2017 in Whitewater Bay of Everglades National Park. The morning had proved very productive and I've got a separate video on our adventures of the morning. After James caught this gaff top sail catfish or sail cat, we decided to change locations and move to three different locations which ended up being very highly productive. Again, kudos to my son for picking each one of these coves as he spotted them. I've named this Mangrove Snapper Mania because that's exactly what it was. It was almost non-stop action in each one of these coves. So sit back and come along and enjoy our fishing afternoon. Once again, the front camera does not have any audio track, so I'm going to play some background music just to keep it a little bit interesting. Hopefully you're watching for the fishing action and not for the music. retrieving it, it doesn't spin. Oh, that's a good one. Take the uh, bait board, the cutting board. Mm -hmm. It's marked off. One of them is marked off. How, long, how big do the uh, have to be? Ten inches.
doing. Oh, yeah. He is. Well, we decided to move again, and during the move, we lost the audio feed on the rear camera. Must be a loose connection there. I would have noticed a wire if it had fallen out. Anyhow, sit back, watch the video, and enjoy some music appropriately named The Creek by Topher Moore and Alex Elena.
Well, there's a couple of things that you may notice in this video shot. First off, my shirt is flapping in the wind. The winds were steadily picking up as the weather forecasters had promised. And as you can see, even in this uh, kind of narrow channel, we were starting to get some wave action. And of course, we were getting buzzed by some insects. But the fishing was still almost non-stop and we were getting some keepers. Another fish in the boat. Take a quick measurement. Got to make sure he's legal. 10 inches. And then head for the cooler. I thought I'd show y'all how I hooked the shrimp onto the hook. Take the hook and insert it right at the base of the tail and wrap the shrimp around onto the hook so that the barb then comes out. Middle of the body on this case it came out right behind the legs and then I pinched the tail off so that when it's retrieving it doesn't cause the line to spin. And if I can hold on to this joker I will give y'all presentation you'll be able to see where that hook is coming out the barb just barely out of the body. James was hooking his shrimp a little differently he was hooking his through the side so that the shell of the shrimp is helping to hold the shrimp onto the hook. Just as effective just a different way of presenting the natural bait to the quarry.
this was the third of the afternoon locations we were fishing that James had picked out uh, just from sight having passed them. There he is with a undersized mutton snapper. You can see about a black spot on the side. We had gone through about five dozen live shrimp, two dozen which was a holdover from the night before when we were canal fishing. Frozen shrimp, frozen squid. I had been fishing some gulp swimming mullet. It's got a little squiggly tail on it uh, just so that James could use the live bait. But the day was coming to a close, so we started packing up. And I believe I can uh, accurately say that when your son gives you a two thumbs up, he's had a good day on the water. I know I thoroughly enjoy being out there with him. So with all our gear stowed, we were ready to run back to the marina at Flamingo. The winds had picked up, which made crossing Whitewater Bay a little bit bumpy. There were a lot of white caps out there, thus the name. It was a fun day on the water. I want to thank all of you for watching. Wishing everybody bent rods and tight lines.